kitty. Kitty nice. Just be careful, Gabe. Don't pull their tail. I won't, Mama. Excuse me, Mrs. Carlisle. Oh, yes, what is it? You have a collect phone call. Who'd be calling me collect in England? Thank you. Of course. Hello? Becky Carlisle speaking. Hello. Do you accept the charges from a... Jason Carlisle. To accept, just say yes. What? Yes. Connecting. Beep. Becky? Jason, where are you? I thought you would have been back by now. We have to be at the airport soon. We don't want to miss our flight home. I don't think we're going to make the flight, Becky. What? Why not? Because I'm in jail. Jail? and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching, and now for some shoutouts to a few of our amazing fans. LPS Tootsie Toys, Unicorn Girl 168, Super LPS, Mama D and the G featuring Little P, Marie Hamilton, Margarita Sierra, Mia's World, Jessica Messiha, Aurelia Bahana, and Rock the World. Ricardo Family, Jason Goes to Jail. What are you doing in jail? What happened? Are you okay? I don't have long to talk. If you come down to the police station, I can explain everything then. Are you okay, though? I'm a little nervous, though. I'm not really sure what happened. Okay, well, don't worry, honey. I'll be down there as soon as I can. Thanks, honey. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how this happened. Mama, you okay? Yes, honey, I am. Don't worry about mommy. Becky, honey, any word from Jason? I thought he would have been back by now. We better get going if we're going to make our flight home. Grandma, yeah, I just talked to him on the phone. What is it, dear? Is everything all right? You sound upset, honey. Is Jason okay? Well, he says that he's fine, but Grandma, he's in jail. In jail? Oh my goodness, what happened? I don't know. He told me that he'd tell me everything once I went down to the police station. But what are we going to do? We're supposed to be leaving. Never mind about that, honey. We can catch another flight. You go down to the police station. George and I will stay with the babies. But we can't stay here. Lord and Lady Worcestershire, they're going on holiday today, remember? Oh, that's right. Never mind. Don't worry about a thing, honey. George and I will get a hotel for us. I'll call you and let you know which one. Thanks, Grandma. I just don't know what happened. And I'm really worried. I am too, honey, but don't worry. I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. You go and find out what happened, and then let us know. I will. Okay, guys. Mommy's got to run out for a little bit. You stay with Grandma and Uncle George. Mama loves you. Be good. Guess what? We're extending our vacation. Did you guys want to go to a hotel? Yes, hotel. Fun, fun. Yes, we go. Yay! I made my phone call. My wife's gonna come down. That's perfect. Why don't you tell me what happened? Alright. Well, I don't really know what happened. Why don't you just start at the beginning? I find that's the best place to start. Okay. Well, we're leaving back home today, and I was just walking down the street. Oi! We're coming! What do you think? You think this is light? Just hurry it up. The cops will be here soon. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Oh, it's so heavy. Hurry up. We're taking too long. Do you want to get arrested? No, of course not. What is it? I dropped some gold. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Just leave it. Hurry it up. Get in the back. Let's go. Sound. Oh, perfect, the bank. It's not my last thing to do. Better hurry, though. I got a flight to catch. Hey, what's this? Looks like gold, but no, it couldn't be. This can't be real. It's gotta be a joke. Am I on a camera somewhere? Is someone playing a prank? Who would drop a gold bar like this? It's heavy. Freeze! You're under arrest. What? Put your hands up. Am I still being pranked? That's very interesting. So you just happened to find some gold on the ground 
and you decided, hmm, I better pick this up. Well, it was just laying there. I didn't even think it was real. I'll just put this in your file. So does that mean I can go? I don't want to miss our flight. No, Mr. Carlyle, I'm afraid you're not going anywhere. Not until we get to the bottom of this. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to book you. But I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. I swear. If that's true, then you have nothing to worry about. You'll head down the hall. We'll get you to the booking room. We'll take your photo and take your fingerprints as well. But I didn't do anything. You gotta believe me, I swear. We'll get to the bottom of this, don't worry. In the meantime, we have to treat everyone just the same. Down the hall, please. I didn't do it! Alright, let's just get you in the system here. Let's take your picture. Line up against the wall, please. Just behind you there. Oh, uh, okay. How's this? Alright. Now, hold still. Turn to your side, please. Uh, how's that? Perfect. Hold still. Other side, please. Hold still. Perfect. Alright, over here. Very good. Okay, let's add everything to your file. Height. Perfect. Alright, let's get you fingerprinted. Is this really necessary? I'm telling the truth, I didn't do it. Until we can figure out what happened, and look at the security tapes and all the evidence, Unfortunately, you're in here. You were found at the scene of the crime, holding a stolen object. You can see how it looks, Mr. Carlyle. Well, yeah, I can see how it looks, but that's not what happened, I swear. I'm not a thief. I'm a hard worker and a dad, and I'm honest. Well, if that's true, Mr. Carlyle, then you have nothing to worry about, and the evidence that we collect will set you free. Now then, put your hands in the fingerprint machine, please. It won't take long. All right. There's one, and the other. What do you do with my fingerprints? I'll scan them through the database and see if you have a criminal record or not. Well, I don't. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Carlyle, but if everyone that came in here said they were innocent and we just believed them on their word, I don't think any criminals would be caught then. All right. Well, that's running through the computer. I'll have to take you to your cell. What? A jail cell? Can't I just sit in a room somewhere and you can keep me handcuffed? No, unfortunately not. You wouldn't be secure just sitting in a chair. But an actual jail cell? I've never been in one before, and I don't want to start. Rules are rules. Straight down the hall. What have I gotten myself into today? <sighs> in you go. All right, put your hands through here, Mr. Carlyle. And the other wrist. Very good. I'll be back shortly. What am I gonna do? Can't be stuck here. I got kids. I got a wife. I got a family. Oh, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. George! How's it going with the suspect? It's not going at all, Captain. Oh? Why not? I'm beginning to think that Mr. Carlyle was correct in stating he was innocent. And why is that? He wouldn't be the first one to lie about being innocent. No, you're quite right. But I've run his prints and his name. He doesn't have a criminal record. There's nothing, except for maybe a parking ticket. That doesn't mean he's not guilty. No, quite right again, Captain. But the bank job was run by professionals. You can tell. And somehow I don't think he's a professional bank robber. But it's not what I think, it's what the evidence says. Do you know if we've gotten the security tapes from the bank yet? They should be coming in shortly. Be sure to review them once they've come in. Of course, Captain. Very good. Notify me if you find out anything. We must solve this one immediately. Yes, Captain. You have a visitor, Mr. Carlyle. You get ten minutes. Thank you. Jason! Becky! You made it. I am so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too, Jason. What happened? Why are you arrested? Why are you in jail? That's a long story. They think I robbed a bank. What? You? 
No. How? I was running to the bank to get some more cash. I thought we'd need some for the taxi to the airport. Then someone had robbed the bank. They dropped some gold on the ground, I picked it up, and then the police came as I was picking up the gold. So they think I'm part of the bank robbery. But that's ridiculous. That's what I said. But they didn't believe me. Anyways, I'm just being detained until they can look at some of the evidence. But for how long? I don't know. I guess I could stay in here until their investigation is done. But that could take months. What are we gonna do? Well, I don't know. Maybe you and the kids should just go home. No, Jason, I'm not leaving you. Grandma and Uncle George got a hotel. And they took the kids there, so we'll stay there until we can figure all this out, okay? I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually really happy you said that, Becky. I don't think I'd do very well in here, knowing I couldn't see you every day. No, I'll come every day, I promise. Until we figure this out. Maybe we should call a lawyer? Yeah, I don't know. They said I'm just being detained. They're waiting for some security tapes. Okay, I guess we wait then. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, your ten minutes is up. Time to go. Please, just a few more minutes. Nope, those are the rules. I'll be back tomorrow, Jason. I promise. Okay, honey. I love you. Thanks for coming. I've got this one, Philip. I'll take it from here. Sure thing, George. You must be Mrs. Carlyle. I've got good news. Oh, you have good news, officer? Please tell me my husband's free to go. Actually, indeed he is. We've revealed the security tapes, and it turns out your husband was telling the truth. He was not part of the robbery. The well-known robo-gang was responsible for it. We're still on the lookout for them, but that means you are indeed free to go, Mr. Carlyle. I am? That's great. Yes, yes it is. Just need you to sign some paperwork, and then you're free to go. Follow me, please. Man, am I happy to get out of there. You're not the only one that's happy. I'm happy too. Maybe we can catch a flight tonight and head back home. You know what, honey? Why don't we extend our vacation a little bit? I think we deserve it. You said Uncle George and Judy got a hotel? Yes, they did. I guess we could stay there a few days. Yeah, I think I need to relax a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, Jason. Let's get you all signed out. Yeah, I can't wait to get out of here. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey!